for the new baseball draft. That's that's the one up they got on it. I don't even think they televised the baseball draft, do they? I don't know. I didn't know they televised think, the College World Series until uh, this year. I think ESPN uh, televises everything. Yeah, uh, sports. They're on ESPN eight, the Ocho. Yeah. <laughs> next is badminton. That's right. And then the badminton draft with the next. It's, it's a long the badminton draft. draft. Is the next Indian kid born? <laughs> or is that, wow. No, that's cricket. Well, Sorry, that's why cricket. Why are we racist? Oh, Still wow. down, pie. Come Come on. On. Indians are good at cricket. Calm down, Michael Richards. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pile not brown enough to do it. Uh, and finally, the Islanders, speaking of racists, picked the very first Chinese NHL player, and Dong Song. Oh, wow. Yes. I like it. I yeah, the first uh, Chinese hockey player was on Anaheim Mighty, or the, the Mighty Ducks, right? The movie? Remember in the, was the second or third one, there was an Asian kid? I don't know. I think it was the second one. That's a movie. Nothing ever true. The second one. There was an Asian kid. <laughs> yeah. That right. was the first Asian hockey player right there. Yeah. Chinese. Oh. It was yeah. up to Hollywood. Uh <laughs> was it the Waynes could play basketball? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're also chicks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. I love how the Ducks, the Mighty Ducks movie, though, did it as a joke because they're like, okay, we got to expand. You've got to have, we have black guys. Now we got to get a Chinese guy in here. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in big sports news, the Boston Bomber says that I don't pray for, or I do pray. I don't pray. I pray for your relief, your healing. He said that to the victims of the Boston bombing and their families. It's the first time he's spoken in like two years. Oh, the Boston bomber guy. Yeah. I was trying to think of who, who the Boston bombers. I wonder if he's related, he's related to the Bronx bomber. Oh, okay. I thought it was like another sport. Like, does Boston have a soccer team or something called the Boston bombers? <laughs> <laughs> oh. They should, huh? That'd be a great name for a sports team in Boston now. Sounds good. Yeah. It makes headlines. I wish these guys would reflect like this before they kill people. That'd be nice. I don't think so they don't have shit. to apologize. They just think don't about do it before it. they do it. Just yeah. don't do it. I, yeah, I think the only reason he said that is because uh, after he's done, that he got sentenced to death. Yeah, he's yeah. trying trying to you know get just life in prison rather than yeah, that. That's I'm sorry. Uh, NASCAR's jumping on the anti-Confederate bandwagon. Yeehaw! Yeah, they're saying they're after th- South Carolina did. Mind you, all right, they were, they were last. Well, give them credit; they're still not on the "don't fuck your cousin" bandwagon. <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> yeah. They are? <laughs> no, they're not. They're not yet. They're not they're not yet. Yeah, they still fuck cousins. Yeah, Ooh, exactly. They just don't hang the flag. Yeah, openly. Yeah, no no, no flags, just well, uh, cousin fuck. A NASCAR is the perfect place to do it, right? Fuck your cousin? Yeah. Fuck. Or hang your Why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? It's just the rednecky thing to do. Oh, I... Silly me. <laughs> right. I thought you had a joke line. No, <laughs> I'm saying it is the perfect place, yeah. isn't it? What the fuck am I thinking over here? Uh, and finally, Phil Mickelson is that golfer guy has been tied to a money laundering scheme as well as gambling. Who would have thunk? Yeah, golfers getting crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Phil Mickelson, man, he's just doing all kinds of dirty shit with money. Hold on. Chat room saying NASCAR is getting soft. No beer, cigarettes, or Confederate flags. They banned beer and cigarettes? No beer? What? No wonder like I never wanted well, one. Isn't, no, I guess Budweiser. in a the sense they kind of like look down on it because remember they drink milk at the end yeah. instead of champagne or anything. Oh man, so if all the NASCAR people start to sober up, they're going to like my NASCAR anymore. No, no, they're going to realize what they're no. doing. No. These wait, guys wait. are just going around circles. Circles? Fuck that. Why don't we turn right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Racing Forever was the Winston Cup NASCAR was, so they got rid of that. Winston Cigarettes, obviously. Now it's the Lewiston Cup? <laughs> now it's, I think, next to <laughs> Cup or Sprint or Sprint. whatever. I don't Sprint's know. Sprint's the lower level. If you know it, you're kicked off the show. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's the real test. (laughs) Bye-bye. Anyway, that's all for the stories we don't give a shit about. We are are way over time, so we're going to take a uh, super quick little break of poo. That's as gay as I can make it. Uh, We're going to come back. we got baseball to talk about. we got (laughs) NBA to talk about. we got football to talk about. Uh, Gay marriage, not the only win for gays. Okay. Yeah. Wow, nice. Yeah, some good gay news in football. Alouettes. Sweet. Fellas. (laughs) Anyway, so uh, in the meantime, check us out at thecharitystrike.com, facebook.com slash charitystrike, at the charity strike on the old twat box, no E at the end because we're drunk, and uh, we're on uh, Instagram, the charity strike, 805-419-3679, somewhere to call, you can text, you can text, you can call now and talk <laughs> live if you'd like, uh, we'll, we'll make fun of you or you'll probably be smarter than us, something will happen, uh, so anyways, uh, with that, we'll be right back everybody. Be back, bitches. podcast Louisville Kentucky's premier horror podcast 
for the most ridiculous, off-the-wall, irreverent humor from the world of horror. Join Brad, Jared, and Corey as they bring you the hottest stories from within the horror industry. Now part of the 76th Street Network. Find them on iTunes.com and Stitcher.com by searching 76th Street Network. Don't have Stitcher? Download the Stitcher app from the Apple Store or Android Market. Also, find them on Facebook.com as well as on Twitter at 245TStudios. Ready for more eargasms? It's time for more Charity Strike. Oh, it is definitely more time for Charity Strike. Welcome back, everybody. Greg Rebound Jones still here with Trigger Mike. Midlife Crisis. We're back, bitches. And the uh, self-admitting Laker fan, Dan. That is right. <laughs> the only uh, the only one in L.A. Still willing to admit that he's a Laker <laughs> fan. I'm still driving the bandwagon, man, when everyone's ready to jump back on. Yeah, I'll a little be more comfortable after that draft. <laughs> yeah. That is an empty bus, isn't it? <laughs> right now it is. Yes, it you is. We all want back in. <laughs> Do we? Eventually. Oh, we will want back yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> After our picks and everything. All right. right. We didn't get to this in the uh, the first part of the show, so let's get to it now. The most important part of the show. Hello, ladies. <laughs> I'll play that music louder for the turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Taste chick of the day. Is not sitting behind me in the water tank. <laughs> I'm not getting raped by a turtle. Not <laughs> that either. Her name is Whitney Miller. Good lord, I'm jerking off right now. Oh yeah, she is. She's pretty hot. She's a she's a jujitsu person is she? and a surfer and a surfer. Oh wait, am I looking at the wrong Whitney Miller? I don't know. This is professional. I've got a blonde one here <laughs> with a surfboard behind her. So. There, I saw brunette Whitney Miller, Miller too. Oh, so, now I'm, oh, so do surfer. And Wait, there's two good looking Whitney. Whitney Miller. There is Whitney but Miller I, surfer. Yeah, type in on Google Whitney Miller surfer, and of course I'll put a picture at uh, Facebook.com/slash the charity strike. The other one wasn't too bad. Though. She wasn't, but uh, <laughs> surfer Whitney Miller. <laughs> yeah, Woo. it's a different story. Yeah, I, I miss Googled. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I need a uh, needed help there. Hero, I'm gonna need a second here. Gather my thoughts, and I'm done. You done? All right, get my uh, music. Then. I'm good. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's what she said. So hold on. Go to your Google box. <coughs> type in Ooh. Whitney Miller Surfer or just go to the Cherry Strike on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Cherry Strike. And uh, we'll have a picture of her as soon as the show is over. And you will not be sorry. And now, hit my music. My body is ready for Whitney Miller. Mm, for sure. Yeah. On fire. Yeah, my, I mean, my heart's on fire. <laughs> Your heart, huh? <laughs> Something like that. Your balls? Yep. Mm-hmm. They've already uh, melted. <laughs> it's true. It's a hot night here in the Valley. Hot damn. Uh, <laughs> Ultimate Fight Night 70 was this past Saturday. Uh, co-headlined by Lorenz Larkin, who got a nice little win at the welterweight division. Defeated Santi- Santiago Ponzinibbio. Let me, let me remind you, we have a new listener in the chat room listening live. Let's hang on to this person. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thank you. <laughs> Santiago Panzanibio. In the that best, case, moving on. <laughs> one of the best names in MMA. Uh, Lorenzo Larkin, he used to be a, a, light, a middleweight, was a little chubby there. Got down to welterweight. Looks great. He's super quick there. He's destroying people. So hopefully it's a nice new welterweight contender there. And then the most important fight of the night, Lyoto Machida went out and did what I thought was going to happen. He got himself beat the fuck up <laughs> the third round right when he got taken down he got elbowed a few times went out and i think leona machida's time is done in yep. mma i think you should just hang him up he's a champ he was a former contender in another division almost a two-time or two division champ so a good i run. think he's 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 done everything he needs to do in mma so. was that the main event and who yeah he lost to yoel, yoel romero a cuban wrestler uh nickname soldier of god so let me get to his post fights interview is that not, the guy that had the headband with the 316? <laughs> no. I, wait, maybe. Yeah, yeah. John 316. Yeah. Yeah. You saw it. No, yeah, I saw that fight. Yeah. Th- that was a good fight. It was a good fight, right? Yeah. And then it was like weird because Machida was kind of controlling it. And then all of a sudden he got taken oh, yeah. down and just beat yeah, the fuck I up just, after yeah. like five seconds. So, 
Um, so the Can't soldier my honeymoon night, by the way. What's that? Sounds like my wedding night. Yeah, <laughs> poor midlife over here. Three sixteen yeah, headband. <laughs> yeah, night. that too. No. <laughs> your, your wedding night and every night since, apparently. Pretty too. much, yeah. Uh, so the That's soldier of God, Yoel Romero. Um, after his fight, he said, "What happened, USA?" This, I must say, he's not much of an English speaker. This is the first time he's ever ever conducted an interview in English. So he said, "What happened to you, USA? Go for Jesus, not for gay Jesus. Go for Jesus, not forget Jesus." And then he said, we misinterpreted him. He said, first of all, I would like to apologize. There was a misunderstanding. First of all, I'm a I man- love gay Jesus. <laughs> I'm a man of God, <laughs> and God is love. My, expression- my expressions are always going to be about love. What I was trying to say was look for the American dream. That's a little different. And I hate gays. <laughs> a little what different. I thought gay Jesus went to Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't welcome here. <laughs> there was a misunderstanding about gay marriage. God told Mary Magdalena, you're a prostitute. Go and don't sin anymore. And he told her to lo- told her with love. Who am I to judge anybody? Even though I didn't refer to that, even though there was a misunderstanding, I will tell you guys something. God me- made man free to be free. Anybody Great can do story. whatever they want. <laughs> I wouldn't be the type of person to critique anybody. I've got to look at myself first, be a better person, to be able to love people. I didn't refer to anybody. What I was trying to say was, United States, thank you for giving me the American dream. <laughs> USA. <laughs> Too bad American Dream is dead. Now. I was about to say. <laughs> there's no better, Too soon. There's no oh, better country than this one man. because it is blessed by God. It's in the dollars that this country was made by Christian people. That means it's blessed by God. R.I.P. Desi Great Rhodes. Story. <laughs> you, must, you misunderstand. This is Great what I story. meant. I'm so glad I DVR'd it. Could fast forward for Great all that story. shit. <laughs> Great story. Great <laughs> story. I just don't know how you go from uh, don't go for gay Jesus to I meant he loves all. Sorry. Great story. Uh, <laughs> yes, great story indeed. Uh, Alexander Schlemenko was the first victim of a huge uh, suspension and fine for steroid use. Hmm. Um, this, this past year, he uh, was busted for having a TE ratio. That's a testosterone to epitestosterone. The normal levels are four to one. His levels were 50 to wow. one. Fifty five zero. So just slightly Whoa, to one. So he was like he took like the mutant That's, ninja ooze yeah. and wow. fought him like an MMA fight. Yvonne Drago status right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> so it was voted seven. I so will the, break you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, California State Athletic Commission voted seven to zero. So every unanimous that he was gonna be fined ten thousand dollars, which is not much, but he can't fight for three years. Oh. His license is suspended for three years. I mean, he is Russian, so he could probably go to Russia and fight whatever he wants. Ooh, he They're Russian. not going to really stop him. CSAC can't stop him. So, oh. uh, but they also he'll re- fight Rocky. Yeah, yeah. in Russia. Yeah, Rocky, yeah. I, I can't I go to break him in Rocky. Rocky. Uh, if he dies, he dies. They play Hearts on Fire. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he also had his his uh, win over uh, Manu f- overturned for that fight as well. And that is the fighting news. Oh, darn, it's over. Oh. What was that? That's well, my Hogan when he rips his shirt and he snorts. That was some ultimate you know. warrior there. Yeah. <laughs> the warrior did that too. Uh, the new guy in the chat room listening live has uh, has recommended that I look up Devin Alexander goes homophobic on Twitter um, because he is not happy about gay marriage. He's a, he's a boxer. He starts off with, this is the beginning of the end. And then he goes on to say, of course, I'm entitled to my own opinion, which is Americans have let some stuff out that has, well, the hat that has not supposed to be let out. He goes on to say, only a vagina, when it is stretched, can tighten back up. But when your anus is stretched out, you are destroyed. Shows how unnatural it is. Uh, Mike, care to comment? Wait. <laughs> Let's ask our <laughs> expert. Feels pretty natural to me. And it says, Adam and Eve, Steve was supposed to be with another woman. Wait, wait. Oh, so, so the Americans spawned gays? Like, I thought it was a bunch of Greeks boning, boning each other. <laughs> like after the gladiators. I think it's been around since yeah. the beginning of time. I actually. know. What the heck? How did America get involved here? That's crazy. It's been around forever. Because we passed well, gay marriage. Yeah. Come on. So even though every European country basically yeah. has. Oh yeah. Right Here's what the Republicans are not understanding with the whole gay marriage thing. It's a big joke on the gays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can get married you now. Can be uh, like you. you wanted equality sucks for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the big thing. My yeah. favorite part about it is they're saying it's not in the Constitution. They'll allow this. It's like, yeah, it is. It says everybody has a right to pursue, to, happiness. To pursue happiness. So mm. I don't know how that excludes gays from getting married. Yeah. I thought definition it's not very, yeah. Unless they're saying, ha- unless they're saying marriage is not happiness. I so. thought they invented the gays in the 70s or something. 
<laughs> they admitted the gays yeah, they with AIDS. Invented them. In the oh, invented yeah. them yeah. with AIDS. <laughs> same time, just so about the same time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It all came out around the same time. Uh, okay. Speaking of which, oh sorry, uh, yeah, yeah. oh is it, is it is it their fault because we have AIDS too? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>